Hello, Freedom Family. It is step number 25 of the Global Walkout, and I'm really excited to share this one with you. So it's called the Global Freedom Unity Declaration. Now, before I go into it, if you know of a good global initiative that you think we can put as a step or we can promote in any way, you can email me. I'll put the email address in the link of the description. It's called the Global Freedom Unity Declaration. I guess it's only just started because it has about 250 signatures so far. Now, if you go to the website, it has tons of information, but it seems that it was inspired by a seven minute unity video that Nikki Willis made about six months ago. This project's mission is for freedom organizations, groups, influencers, and individuals to remember that we all have the same goal to defeat the globalist agenda. And what's really cool is that if you sign it as an organization or a media outlet, you can actually click yes to being displayed on the website and then it acts as like a directory. So, so far there seems to only be about 10 out of the 250 that have actually clicked yes to being displayed. But if you are a group and you wanna get found, obviously you're gonna to wanna to be displayed because you're gonna want people to know that you've signed the declaration. So what is the declaration, you might be asking yourself. There's only two vows. So I vow to never intentionally undermine other signatories of this declaration unless it's in the public's interest and there is undeniable proof. Secondly, I vow to push back against the globalist agenda in whatever capacity I can. Now, as an individual, you can sign anonymously. You don't have to put your email address in. So they're clearly not data harvesting. And if they are, they're not doing a very good job. Now, the great thing about this, and I've read through the whole website and you should too, but you can actually report someone who has actually broken a vow. And this is really good because it keeps people accountable for not defaming other organizations without proof. And because this is happening a lot within the freedom movement, if you haven't noticed, unfortunately, because there's a lull in the crisis, people are starting to attack each other, but this is a way to combat it. So before I work with anyone, I'm gonna see if they've signed this declaration and if they haven't, I'm gonna ask them to sign it. Now, if they're not willing to sign those two very simple vows, I'm gonna ask them why, and I'm gonna be a little bit dubious as to why. So anyway, check it out. I think it's a great initiative. Share it as well if you can. And let's remember that we have the same enemy and we have the same mission. We do not have to agree with everything that someone says to work with them on a common goal. So remember that. And without proof, tell that person to stop, to close their mouth because no one should be defaming anyone without proof. And if they are, they're doing the work of our enemy, whether consciously or not but it needs to be, it needs to stop. And we can do that together by keeping each other and ourselves accountable. All right, guys, I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.